I've helped hundreds of people make their first six figures with copywriting. There's no reason that you can't do it either. The way that copywriting changes your life is that it turns you into a money printing machine. All right, it is 1.47 in Miami right now. It's a Wednesday. I got nowhere to be. I'm chilling in my Ferrari right now. And I figured this would be a good time to sort of tell my story. I think a lot of people see this and they see a fucking guru. And I get it because this is guru car, guru watch, guru linen pants. <laughs> I look a little douchey. And I want to dispel any sort of misconceptions that you might have because I want you to know that I was extremely normal. So let's go back in time real quick. When you're in high school, you're told you can do about 10 things. Nobody knew what most jobs were that pay so well. I didn't hear the term copywriting until I was two years into my university career. And I didn't even hear about it from faculty or my peers. I heard about it online on Twitter, which made me think that it was probably not real because I'd never heard it before. My thing was like, well, if it's such a good way to make money, why isn't everyone talking about it? Why isn't everyone doing this? I felt like I was sitting on a gold mine. I, I looked through the internet to find what was wrong with copywriting. I tried to like poke holes in it and I couldn't. I remember I saw a thread from this guy on Twitter talking about how if you're a decent marketer and you can use words to sell, online that you can make a stupid amount of money and at the time stupid amount of money to me was like five six k a month and that was really all i wanted because i was living at home i was working a job i didn't like i figured if i can make as much or a little bit more from copywriting than i do with my job which i was waiting tables at a restaurant telling restaurant and i was like well fuck like that might be a good option for me that's really all i wanted to do i really didn't have that bone in me that was like really itching to have supercars and have crazy watches and go on crazy vacations and live in Dubai or California or something like that that just wasn't in my DNA because I didn't really know it was an option and so I figured for me to live the best possible life I could have that I should probably just go and you know try to make a little bit of money online in an easy way so I could make average money and be a regular dude and live with as little stress as possible that was my first goal I remember the first time I tried copywriting, it was right after I dropped out of school the first time, because I dropped out twice. First time was September of 2019, where I really just didn't have enough money to put towards school, so I just didn't do it. I was working at a restaurant at the time, and in the meantime, when I wasn't working at a restaurant, I was trying to figure out copywriting. And I would go, you know, do like busy work all day. I would go to a coffee shop, I would like make a lead list of people that I thought I could reach out to and I never really even reached out to them. Like I was kind of just like a bum. And that was from like September to like November of 2019 which is when i decided i was gonna go back to school so i signed up again in january and then i realized how terrible school was and how it really wasn't for me and at the same time COVID hit so i had all this urgency because i was like there's never gonna be a better time for me to try copywriting i've seen more evidence than anything else that it actually works because i was just scrolling twitter all the time scrolling instagram watching youtube videos watching people make money from this i was like if they can do it so can i so as soon as school was closed for COVID, I went to work. I, I started actually really doing it, doing what I tell everybody else to do, which is just like make a lead list of people that you want to reach out to, send a bunch of cold emails. And that I did. And I was absolutely shocked at how fast it was. And anytime you hear me or somebody else say that making money online is easy, it's not that it's as easy as just clocking into a shift and showing up and getting paid 20 bucks an hour to do some mundane job. It's not that kind of easy. It's easy in the way that it's way easier than you thought it was going to be. So in terms of what your expectations are and what it actually is, it's easier than getting a job. I know a lot of people over the summer, that same summer where I was making money as a copywriter that were sending out hundreds of job applications trying to get a job like since they graduated and they didn't even get one. And if they did, they were making less money than I was as a freelancer working from home. The way that copywriting changes your life is that it turns you into, for lack of a better term, a money printing machine because you learn marketing. And everybody who knows marketing knows that they can sell pretty much anything. If you have the skill of copywriting, you know how to sell, you will print cash. Nobody else has that direct path. Let's talk about sales for a second. Sales is a great skill and you make a lot of money with that right away. I know guys that pop into sales and start making 10, 15, 20K a month off rip. However, there's no real good ascension path. And when I say ascension path, like what business model are you ascending to so you can make 100K a month? Really the only good answer seems to be either sales manager or sales trainer so it's either like have a bunch of little sales minions that learn from you or you can sell a course and that's really all these people can do but if you're a really good copywriter you can go and do e-commerce 
or you can go and you know like get like a CMO level job at some big company or you could be a growth partner or you can be an affiliate marketer you can do all these things that you wouldn't have been able to do without the skill of marketing and the biggest thing for me when I started out wasn't that I thought it was really hard to do copywriting or to do you know business in general it wasn't that I thought it was you know gonna take too much time or anything because all I had was time really the thing that I thought was like is it gonna be worth my effort I was sitting there and I was thinking like I'm gonna be doing this for free is it gonna be worth my time is it gonna actually be worth it for me to do all of this stuff so that maybe one day I can make 10k a month I will tell you definitively that the answer is a big fuck yes because it's not about getting the 10k a month because one 10k a month will not change your fucking life it's the fact that this is something that can feed you for the rest of your life in a way that requires fairly little time it's not that stressful it makes your life into something else i sometimes think about like how close i was to not having any of this stuff that i love so much and it's not really about the money it's more about just the life that i've built for myself the friends i have the caliber of people that i get to be around the places i get to go the fact that i'm in the sun all the time instead of being in cold dreary canada i have everything i've ever wanted at 25 years old there's nothing more that i could ask for and every day i think about how close i was to not having this because i've said this before if you took a lineup of a thousand random people and you were to pick 990 of them to be successful i would not have been in that top 990 i would have been in the bottom 10 people random judges probably would have thought like this guy's probably not gonna make it. I didn't have the work ethic, I didn't have the drive, I didn't have even the brain. I didn't even really know what I was doing. I'm telling you that I fell into this by accident. And it's only because I had a spark of motivation for like a day. During the whole shutdowns with COVID and everything, I had one day where I was sitting on the couch thinking like, what if I actually just tried it? What if I actually just did everything I could for like a month or two to see if this is a thing? The decision that I made that day, it's a tiny little decision that forked off into this hugely different path. If I didn't make that one decision, I would have been with $100 in my bank account, working a shitty job, like hating waking up every day. I don't set an alarm. I wake up every single day whenever the fuck I want. If I go to bed at 3 and I wake up at 10.30, that's fine. I'll start working then. The lesson here is that everyone watching this video could be sharing the same sort of thing like i'm not that special like yes i've worked hard and yes i have skills and yes maybe i'm a little bit smart but it's not like i'm that much smarter or that much more skilled than anyone watching this most people within five years could have 80 percent, and it's only because they haven't made that one single decision that they're sitting where they're at right now not having what they want the best motivation that you can get is not going to come from a youtube video it's going to come from you sitting down closing your eyes and really, really thinking about what it would be like for you to have everything. Like imagine yourself, like waking up in a California king bed and then grabbing your keys to your Lambo, going down to the parking garage, turning that shit on, driving into the gym, having a sick workout because you look great. Imagine you just have more muscles, like picture all of this stuff and realize that you could have all of it. You could have every last bit of it. That is what I did. That is the solution to you sitting there going like, I wish I had it. You don't wish hard enough. You gotta wish harder. I'm gonna say this again. I really do understand how douchey this video looks. So like, I'm not trying to overtly sell you anything. There's stuff for you to buy, but I don't want you to buy it unless you actually know you're gonna do it. Instead, I'd rather just show you on YouTube what your life could be and hope that you come my way when you're ready to learn because I've helped hundreds of people make their first six figures with copywriting. There's no reason that you can't do it either. I'm not saying you're gonna be in a Ferrari, but I'm saying that you can be extremely successful and you don't even know because you've never even tried.